Hi guys and welcome to Married to Medicine Season 5 Episode 11 The Heavenly Wed Game. Okay, so when we started out in this episode, we started off with Dr. Heavenly calling Jewel Tanker because she was feeling some kind of way about how she argued with Mariah and kept saying, your mama this and your mama that. And she should have felt some kind of way because she cursed Mariah out pretty bad. And the mama thing really got to stop because, honey, for real, that's going to mess around and get our butt kicked. And I don't know if she ready for that, but that's going to have to stop. But anyway... Dr. Jackie and Curtis talked to Dr. Kim, which was um, Dr. Simone's therapy. And he going to say they, should con- they shouldn't concentrate on the details. And I'm with Dr. Jackie. I do not agree with that. It is important to know why. Any woman is going to want to know why. Just like if a woman was to cheat, any man is going to want to know why. Um... He did it and everything so they can know if they did anything wrong and if it was, you know, just why. I'm going to want to know, you know. I like that Curtis is willing to shoulder the majority of what happened in the relationship just to repair. It shows that it's there's a positive for the relationship to work because a lot of men ain't even going to admit that they did any uh, anything wrong yet. Shoulder the entire blame like he shouldered it. But anyway... Everybody packing to go to Barbados. <laughs> and Dr. Eugene going to tell Toya she can't put them creepy wig heads in his luggage and have him caught up in customs. <laughs> Thinking he done killed somebody with all of them heads in his luggage. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm glad they didn't edit this out and they did show Dr. Heavenly. She did call Mariah. After that big fight and blow up. And really did apologize to her. And invite her on the trip. And told her that she really didn't want her to be there. And I'm really glad she did. But. um, Back to the packing. Why is Dr. Damon. Packing all of them doggone hot blue jeans. To go to Barbados. I really am glad he a doctor. Because he going to need a prescription. For the, the 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 level of jock itch. He going to have. With them hot tail jeans. He better be dressing like he on the love boat. <laughs> you going to the islands man. Not Alaska. My goodness. Now, where was he at? What took him so long to get there? Why he got Dr. Heavenly there by himself? Now I got to wait all, all the way to Sunday to find out where he was. Shoot. Y'all, Dr. Simone done showed up with big old Curtis. Got out with his seven foot eight behind him. Piled up out of this SUV. But let me tell you something. I was really hoping Curtis was going to show up on his own and that he was going to come anyway. So I'm glad Dr. Simone brought him because I'm tired of seeing Jackie at couples trip by herself. How are you going to work on being a couple and work on your marriage if your other half ain't never there? That don't even make sense to me. So he needed to be there. So I'm glad that he was there. And two, I'm glad he's there because she has to face him. She can't keep running from problems and issues. They're actually in a place where they have to talk it out. But anyway, the men, <laughs> the men looking sideways because they all trying to get some and they don't want all the men, <laughs> women in some kind of mood piled up in the room with Jackie <laughs> mad at men. And hating men because everybody mad at Curtis because you know they all done had to talk to everybody and deal with the Curtis situation because it's literally done affected their relationships as it is. So they going on this trip now <laughs> trying to be romantic and get some. They don't need Curtis on trying to rain on their parade now. But anyway, I like that Heavenly had them all on the Allen bus. She didn't have no big catered charter bus with no, um, what you call it, with no air conditioning. Like they was rich and bougie. She did, she did something that Dr. Simone would do. That's something Dr. Simone would do. She the first one that was complaining. And if it was her, she'd have done the trip. That's what she'd have had them riding on. So I don't know why she was complaining. But anyway. They away from the states. I mean, y'all on the island do what the natives would do. But 
<laughs> Helen had already told her them MF was, was getting on her nerves. They so bougie and stuck up like she can't cuss. It's like, that's not appropriate. A hostess can't do that. Helen, you can shut up. Y'all doing the most. They they acting like they not regular smegular people like you can't talk normal or whatever like they so perfect like they can't say like heaven can't say y'all mf is just getting up what was wrong I didn't see nothing wrong with that like they doing the mo most but anyway they get out the little bus they got the little dancers there shaking it and whatever and here go Curtis hugged up. With two of the dancers hugging up with two of the dancers with Jack in the middle, and they already telling Curtis, "Look, walk away, walk away." So I see the type of person Curtis is now. He one of them flirty type of people, like he that dumb that he don't comprehend that the boundaries. Like apparently he has no boundaries, and. I see now, in order for their relationship to work, it's going to have to be some boundaries set. Like, he's going to have to learn in certain things that you can and cannot do. Like, number one, you're married. You can't do that. Even though we're on vacation, it's supposed to be fun. That's not okay. We don't do that. Don't ever let it happen again. We're going to stop that. These are new rules in the relationship. These are rules in the relationship that should have already been there. Because apparently, he a flirty birdie type of person that's always like that. Then it's just gonna have to stop. But anyway, Heavenly did great with the room. She didn't leave nobody in no busted room like they have on some trip where somebody get a low end room. No, she had everybody laid and slayed. And I really do like that. But anyway. I agree with Mariah when she was talking about the situation and how some people be greedy. When they be cheating and whatnot and what have you in in, in situations, um, as far as that concern, Quiet has an issue. Greg is trying, and to me, Quiet is steadily pushing him away because he was over there saying, and uh, who was Greg doing? Doctor Gregory was like over there trying with Quiet, and she was steadily pushing him away, and like. Uh, running her mouth and just saying oh mean negative stuff. If he trying, don't keep on pushing him away. It's it's kind of got on my darn nerves. Cause quiet thinks she don't do no wrong. It's always him. But quiet, you not perfect. Just like when y'all was on the trip and they said quiet, what was one thing you would change? And she was like, I don't know, like nothing. Girl, bye. You doing the most. Like, she didn't want Dr. Greg touching her and talking about, no, I don't need him to touch me right now. But like Dr. Jackie said, that's how your love and attraction starts with touch and feel and that type of emotion. What you mean? She quiet be doing the most. And she just going to have to understand she's not perfect. To me, this, 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 that's an issue in their relationship right there. And then she talking about she want to feel love, but she not allowing him to love her and to show her love. That's what she doing. And she can't keep saying, oh, he does this wrong. And she says, it's all him. I never do anything. No one is perfect. If she let him talk long enough, he would say what he need from her. But she would probably say he don't need that because I do everything perfect. She got some problems. She really do. So anyway, Heavenly called a meeting for the group to discuss like what they was going to do and stuff for the next day. And they all had to find somewhere to sit. Curtis pulled Toya uh Curtis going to tell Toya, come on, you can sit, like, basically, come on, you sit right here. going to pull Toya down in his lap. It was a joke because that, that's just how he is. We see that now. This is, we, we finally get to see how Curtis is. We ain't never got to see Curtis. We don't know nothing about him. And now we getting to see how he is. I don't like that. Though it's a joke, if Jackie know that's how he is and he joke like that, then that's fine for her. That's fine for them. People that know him, know him, it's okay. Though we don't know him like that, so it's not going to be okay for us. So let me tell you something. 
Toya willingly sit down in this man's lap. And she going to run to all the other women like she was forced to sit in his lap. This one, none, and I'm glad Jackie said it. Toya, it's going to take more than that for you to uh mess up me and my husband. That was a setup. Toya being a petty bitch. Then she going to go to each one like, did you see what he did? You was willing. You didn't have to sit in his lap. You could have said, nope, stop, and don't. Even your husband, they already know him like that. Everybody in the group know him like that. That's why didn't nobody else take it personal and see no problem in it because they already know he like that. That's why you the only one in the group that had an issue with it because you trying to break up this lady marriage and keep saying, well, my daddy cheated and, and he kept you. Honey, that's your mom and your daddy. Whatever happened to your mom and daddy don't have nothing to do with Jackie and Kurt, Curtis. Curtis is not your daddy. Just because your daddy did it don't mean Curtis is going to do it. Stop sitting around and hollering because of what your daddy did. Curtis ain't your daddy here ain't got nothing to do with what your daddy did and stop damn saying it and leave these people in their marriage alone you and then don't nobody else want to hear nothing else about your husband and his masturbation issues either your old marriage ain't perfect you done ran y'all in the hole and about bankrupted y'all and your little stuff you doing messing up y'all stuff that's what you need to be worrying about but anyway she needed to stop obsessing over uh, Curtis. And I mean, he was playing. He would not sit on, on in front of the entire group and try to come on the toy. Come on. He not studying her like that. Everybody know his plan. She was playing. And I mean that he was playing. But she got issues. Toya really do. I'm not going to say that he won't ever, ever, uh, not every person cheats again. My, me and my husband been through that whole cheating situation. I ain't never, I only mess talk to somebody else cause he did it. Cause to me, if you do it, you, I'm assuming that you want me to see somebody. So I'm going to see somebody too. Cause I'm assuming that's what we're doing and that's what you want. So that's what I did. And I didn't see nobody else. He didn't see nobody else. We fine. So she can't keep saying, well, if he cheat, he going to cheat again. Because she don't know that. She don't know his heart. She don't know anybody's heart. And it's wrong for her to keep saying that. She need to, She don't know anybody's intentions. I don't think he, that man, has any intention of getting back with Jack and cheating again. And it's wrong for Toya to keep saying that. It's wrong for any woman to keep saying that. It's wrong for any woman to say, if a man cheat on you, he always going to cheat. Because don't no, no, no woman know that for sure about every man. So shouldn't another woman tell another woman that? Because she's not sure about that. But anyway... I like the game that Dr. Heavenly played because we get to, we got to learn way more about the couples and, um, their relationships. But Quad and uh, Dr. Grid is, is a douchebag. I feel like he's tried, but I think he's really just a douchebag. All he cared about is money and he think that's all any woman wanted from him and that he think that's all Quad wanted from him. And I think that's messed up their relationship. And, Really just drove a wedge between them. But he's a butthole. And I feel like Quad's a butthole. And now they buttholes to each other. And that's why their relationship is just almost doomed. And I think they need to really go see a real somebody to help them. I, I think the main thing that's going to help them is to go back and watch this show. And see how they ha act and how they behave and treat each other. I think that is the main thing that's going to help them see some of the issues in their relationship. But anyway, I'm glad that Dr. Uh, Jackie got Toya together and set her down and told her about herself because it was going to have to be said in order to get some peace about it. So, But, but we all know Toya not going to shut up about it. We're going to hear more about it in the next episode because she's going to keep going on about it. If y'all have not seen it, I'm going to tell y'all again. This just happened this week. See, uh, when they recorded the reunion show, Dr. Simone has filed from divorce from her husband, Cecil. Get all the details. Click my playlist, or, and I'm going to drop it right here somewhere. I will leave the link to the T. Be sure y'all watch it. 
I hate to hear that. Prayers to them both. I hope some kind of way they can work it out. I'm going to be honest with you. I hope they can go back and watch this show and work it out. I I don't know what all is edited, but I just feel like it was not anything going on in the show that warranted them to get a divorce. But like I said, you never know what happened behind closed doors. We don't know what was edited out. Anyway, be sure to click a playlist and catch up on all my show reviews. Be sure to hit the notification button to be updated on the new reviews that will come out almost daily. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and share and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.